Hello and welcome back to the mobs video trainings. We're going to do today is to look at some features uh, to configure some simple routers and wireless systems. Let's open up. This is what I set up in my network. This is uh, working as my primary router and let's bring up the wireless router Okay, as you can see, both of them are from Linksys. Let's come to the basic router. This is actually a powerful router, and this can handle up to like 50 megabps uh, bandwidth. And these are the primary options that you can go through. As you can see, I have these ports already configured. This means that these are the machines I'm running in right now. I have three machines running and this is my one port. You can either use two WAN ports uh, configured into like uh, a redundant lines and something like that. So this has an Intel uh, processor and a 32 megabits, uh, megabytes of RAM and the flash RAM is 8 megabytes. I haven't upgraded uh, the firmware version since I bought it. I used to use NRV016 uh, it's a 042 and there were uh, like 082, 016 something like that. Those, uh, those are more powerful than this one so let's go ahead with the primary setup uh, you can type in your name I have named it RV and this router would act as a 1.1 this is my subnet mask and the static IP WAN IP this these are the items that your ISP should give you your primary DNS and a gateway and your IP addresses so as you can see you can use two WANs in the primary, primary uh, picture you can use these two <coughs> as a redundant connection here are two of them this is the one 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 two and you can also give, make it a hard bit signal the good thing is that you can also have some help on the right side of your on your menu and I have configured it as for a DHCP server also you can you can use this RV RV routers Linksys routers these are actually Linksys by Cisco so dual one DMZ and here is the password you can change and assign new password it can also use as an NTP server DMZ host forwarding UPnP one to one net and there are more of it so let's go ahead with the DHCP I have enabled the DHCP server list time would be for 40 minutes is the default and the starting range and the ending range on the IP so you can also block MAC addresses and block MAC addresses not on the list so these are the basic options with the DHCP status let's see the status IP used only one available for nine total 50 and as you can see it already gave some IP to this machine its name is Merlane so system okay this will 
status it's and then system management and you can also do bandwidth management into this one you can assign per uh, cable bandwidth upstream and downstream it's an NP request as you can see that I have an SNNP configured I have a PRTG or MRTG if you have MRTG or PRTG configured you can pull this uh, bandwidth um, well bandwidth use and make it a graph or something like that and produce a monthly report or something like that diagnostic report uh, factory default you can make it make this router factory default configurations and firmware upgrades settings backup you can also export the configuration file into um, a simple file and you can recall the file and set it back to whenever you, whenever you like the firewall system the basic firewall system Set SPI is enabled DOS attack this is primarily useful for open networks because it's not actually a good thing that you're um, sitting on an open network and that ISP cable just uh, plugged in into your machine it's a good idea to have uh, this sort of router connected into your home network There are also access rules, content filtering. You can also filter the contents. Block for you can also even block forbidden domains. Like suppose, like if you put um, YouTube.com, YouTube.com at the list, it will be applied momentarily. Save settings. Let's see. YouTube.com. Your page has been blocked. So I don't want it right now. So enable website blocking by keywords. This can be enabled. Save settings. And as you go through, you have to save uh, each and every page. So this is these are actually um, page dependent so there are vpn gateways you can also do vpn options uh, into this machine into this uh, router and client access options i haven't actually configured uh, ipsec or pptp server or something like that or uh, you can have the wizard for installing all this all this um, options you need so this is about it for the rv now let's go back to the wireless this is also a linksys wrt54g as you can see in the system summary this one i have is actually connected to the wireless linksys wireless uh, device this is also configured for the IP addresses, as you can see, let's go to the one one IP address. The one IP addresses are assigned on over here as an internet connection type. As the wireless, as the wireless device, this wireless device is connected to the port four here over here. In port four, it's actually going through internally to the WAN IP but its own IP address is this one 254 uh, this is the router name the wireless router and the host name is Grasshopper you can also assign a domain name some uh, ISP also requires this uh, for uh, the notifications and identifications and also I have uh, this option in a this option here in the wireless also but I'm not I'm, I have disabled but anyway this would work because suppose like if you have any wireless uh, device enabled suppose like your laptop 
if you turn it on the wireless would come to the wireless uh, it will pick up the wireless signal and it will only forward to the server and the primary gateway and the wireless, the wireless device suppose like your laptop it will pick up an IP address from this machine because it has a DHCP configured into it so this portion is okay then let's go to the wireless section I have this is my SSID this is the broadcast ID it will broadcast as a Merlin and it's a mixed mode not B and G it will be accessed by B and G device respectively if you have a B device uh, or if you have a G only device so suppose like if you have um, suppose like if you configured like G only then it will be it will be like uh, only the G devices would be able to access access your network not the B devices but if you have the B devices B only it will act that way also only the B devices would be able to access this Merlin um, access point so the good thing about this one is actually suppose like if you have multiple WRT54Gs or uh, multiple wireless point or something like that if you have configured these things like SS the SSIDs are the same your whole network would be showing like you have two at access points, three access points, four access points uh, things like that so it will work that way and wireless channels I have uh, I don't have much um, devices over here except for five laptops and that's about it so uh, according to your wireless channels requirements you can fix anything as you like security this is the part we want to do suppose this is my WPA shared key WSDBD Dhaka 88 space Dhaka space 88 you can add, yes definitely you can add space in it and key renewal would be 3600 seconds and the algorithms would be AES and you can also go higher encryptions WPA2 enterprise and there you have radio server and blah 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 the, you can have much more web you can also assign web keys um, primarily we use WPA personal that's hard enough to crack and the security settings uh, this is the best security settings for home network and if you have uh, Cisco devices like <clears throat> 2100 series something like that or uh, if you have multiple access routers over here uh, in your office this could be a very uh, WPA2 personal would be a good idea and the wireless Mac filter you can also enable it so it will filter prevent pieces listed uh, from the wireless access gaining access to your network there's the advanced basic rate I want to to make a mega BPS transmission rates uh, I have this this one is actually G G device it will give you 40, uh, 54 mega BPS that's why it's actually named like that the later versions are like um, 320 uh, 310 or something like that those give you uh, those can give you much more higher bandwidth the basic rate transmission rate automatic protection mode frame bars burst mode is actually disabled and blah 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 these are the things as you can see I haven't seen uh, saved these settings so it's already cancelled so let's go back to security block anonymous interest request filter multicast you filter internet NAND, redi uh, NAND, redi uh, NAND redirection so if you want it filter ident if you want it check this box and uh, check this box so it'll be blocked VPN pass through enable access restrictions 
So you can add internet access uh, restrictions also over here as in the web management in the firewall system content, content filtering you can add similar things over here also uh, but you have to add service you can also add uh, by ports uh, add these things over here as you can see FTP ports ping TFTP IMAP HTTPS 443 51 um, so 21 basic basic things um, application and gaming you can also do the same spot range forwarding quality of service these are pretty basic things so now these are the basic setup to your home network so hopefully this video is informational to you bye